When the team arrived the site, it was discovered that one of the two bridges along Nibo Mwaulu Road has collapsed and the other threatening to cave in. When ABS visited the collapsed portion of the bridge, a large crowd was seen gathered at the area, most of them lamenting the unfortunate incident, including the deputy speaker and member representing Oka South 2 in the State House of Assembly, Barrister Harford Oseke. Commissioner Ife Jofo in his reaction said, Government will swing into action immediately through the Anambra State Road Maintenance Agency, AMA, so that the area Area could be linked back to other communities. Engineer Fejo Foku noted that the situation is a natural disaster, especially with the constant rainfall, urged motorists plying the route to use alternative roads, assuring that the road will be put back to use in the next 48 hours. A natural disaster. The rain yesterday night was so much, so but uh, the government and the under the leadership of Amiabu government, we are here. We assemble. This is emergency. And in an emergency situation, we are able to mobilize ourselves. And we are here to look at the situation. We have a solution to it. And by God's grace, we are moving in. Ama we moving here as quickly as possible to make sure that we restore access to between Nibo and Roma. So that is the position now. The managing director, AMA engineer Okoye, who expressed regrets over the situation and thanked God that no life was lost, said he will mobilize his men to the sites immediately. What happened is a natural disaster. You can see the flood is still high. Uh, you can imagine what it was uh, when it was raining. It hasn't rained, the rain hasn't dropped. A, 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 there hasn't been a drop for the past one hour or two. But you can see the level of water. So you can imagine what it was when it was raining. So uh, that's a washout. Uh, uh, we've seen what happened. Um, and that's why the Excellency, uh, the working governor, uh, immediately directed us to, since he's away in China, but he, he got the message in and directed us immediately. We haven't been thinking about a world rush down here. We the commissioner, directors, uh, um, all of us, myself. A world rush down here. We've seen what has happened. We've analyzed it. We've seen the solution. Uh, so I'm going to move uh, my equipment uh, here immediately today. And then, uh, like we promised, within 48 hours, uh, the, the, the section that has completely cut off. Will be, will be become motorable again. On his part, Barrister Oseke, who described the situation as unfortunate, appreciated state government for the quick response, which he said is a clear indication that the Obiano administration is responsive. The traditional law of the community, Igwejuel Egwongu, who also noted that the havoc would bring untold hardship on the people of the area and those who pass through the road to Orumba, commended the governor for doing a good job, even as he appreciated government for quick intervention on the disaster. <laughs> And uh, we promptly from in Inoka South Council area, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News.